as we introduce young people to Long Island Sound and its power and its authority and the life that lives within it and the life that it gives. We are better for our having done it. Governor Dana Malloy was in Stamford Saturday night to attend Soundwater's annual Tall Ships Ball fundraiser, where he received Soundwater's first ever Founders Award. Soundwater's honored Malloy for his commitment to environmental protection. Governor Malloy has been a wonderful advocate for the environment and for really keeping a wonderful uh, quality of life and environment here in Stamford and in Connecticut. Soundwater's founder Len Miller says Malloy offered crucial support when the organization restored the Holly House in Cove Island Park and turned it into an education center in 1999. It was a deteriorating building uh, and he thought it would be a great home for Soundwaters and it turned out to be great for Soundwaters and then also great for the city. This is a great organization and as far as I'm concerned the best organization on Long Island Sound about preserving Long Island Sound. Soundwaters says it teaches more than 25,000 students a year about Long Island Sound and why preserving it is important. While speaking at the event, Malloy was adamant about protecting the sound. A body of water which is worth fighting for and caring about and doing everything within our power to make sure it's preserved. Eight million people live along its shores. Uh, we have a, a number of major rivers that feed into it. We've got to protect our environment. That's what we're doing here. It's a great night. The event was hosted by Harbor Point developer Building and Land Technology and also served to showcase the South End development that began during Malloy's time as mayor.